Let's take a look at these these topics. How are we feeling? Did you guys watch the cinematic footage of Fulio, uh, Fulio's killers being arrested and yeah. taken down? It was it, we'd never seen killers get captured where the footage was this incredible. Yeah, it was, it was cinematic. They, it was, they knew they knew that that footage was gonna be worth something. But like the one they dude, came with the great. They hired Steven the, Spielberg, the dude the with the red hoodie who was getting arrested in the rain. Yeah, and yeah. like oh man, those cops. The rain was so cinematic. The cops was, have killer was, jawlines. The cops look like they're out of a fucking video game or some what? shit. They look like straight out of like Desert Storm. Don't fuck with North Florida. They look like they were proud and brothers. I'm not saying they were proud brothers, but they look like if they were any type of brothers, they'd be proud. There, there was what like... What chapter are you from, brother? Uh, yeah. All right, so there, there was like one dude who was associated with it. They got like pulled over on some random shit and they found hella bullets in the back seat of his car, which is just like, holy fuck, can, can, can anyone commit a crime in a rational fucking way like you kill somebody and you're not like racing around speeding with shitloads of fucking bullets and drugs in your car <laughs> what the fuck? well weren't those fools all like 16 to 20 years old I don't know about them being underage that, yeah. oh man that's gonna be like a fascinating element to it if yeah. somebody ends up basically like taking the charge who's younger or whatever I mean they look like kids you damn know, like, they was 18 but so then all the other people end up getting picked up like the next day which is a crazy coincidence but it leads you obviously to believe that the first dude who got picked up probably it's ratted on everybody else. But the really crazy thing is that who the first dude that got picked up in South Carolina? Uh, oh, I thought this was all dude. Florida. Oh, I thought the first ATK member to go to jail was that dude that they had a hundred thousand dollar bond, but he had cases in Florida, but he never went to jail. Oh, I don't even know. I'm just basing this off the 1090 Jake video that they're saying the youngest was 18. Yeah. But uh, I, I just like I'm, I, I, I'm basing it off this 1090 Jake video that I watched earlier where he was breaking it all down and stuff. But the other crazy ass thing is just that that girl like who apparently like I'm always skeptical when I hear like, oh, this girl backdoored him. But apparently that's like a real thing in yeah, terms of sense. this yeah. specific case. Like yeah. there was a girl who was moving around with one of the sharing dudes the whole location. fucking time. But who drops pins? Like you was sharing your location with like, not like that. Like you gotta be a little smarter. If you still dropping a pin and you know you own some bullshit, you don't just share your location. Not like that. You shouldn't even have a phone if you own bullshit. Yeah. Right. But first and foremost, like I, that's how they... Essentially, got caught up. Like they gonna all ping your them, cell towers. Yeah, they had yeah. all pinged to the same area. Yeah, but yeah, the uh, the girls nowadays. It's, it's been like that, Adam. You just yeah. naive to it. Naive, yeah. That, yeah, yeah. It's the reason why you just don't bring girls that you first meet to your crib. Like, right. Well, it's, it's the easiest way to set anybody up in under any circumstances. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Give Give me your honest estimate. If I'm some baller, rich dude, whatever, and I decide that I want to start having strippers leaving the club, coming back to my crib, and let's say I have something that's like really definitely worth taking. I'm a guy who's got a lot of jewelry or you got cash. A, you, got, or you got a I got meal on. bricks. I got whatever you need. And I have a hundred chicks come back from the strip club to my crib. You're robbed. What percentage of them? Sixty. You think that high? Hell yeah. Oh my god, that's terrifying. everyone that's a prostitute. Wow. Everyone that's selling it, for sure. Which is a... a it might be 75%. Yeah, a good a good chance. If it's out and they come to your house, I think that's in the fuck for money manual, whatever you can steal. This nigga's already paying me and fucking me. Like, and they're going to take what they could take, yeah. but it's a lot easier for them to just have this other dude do it and presumably break you off. So that's like a 60% chance. That's what I'm saying. Like, Because like a girl taking what, like whatever watch that sits right there, that's damn near like 80-75% of the hmm. stripper. Wow. But you're also assuming that there wasn't a dude manipulating and puppeteering that situation hmm. prior to that. Yeah, no, 60%. Like, like, 100 out of 100 is 60 bitches that's calling, depending on nationality. It depends. All right. Now, that's when that comes in because it's like now 100 white strippers, it might be like 30%. Hmm. You know what I mean? Like it's, See, this is why you're here to say things that would be considered racially problematic. Yeah, 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 yeah,
Yeah. <laughs> now, if it was 100 white strippers, we're talking 30% because those are the percentage that are probably being pimped by black men. Mm. It also depends on what city you're in. Like, if it's, I would say, if it's I was anywhere, assuming LA, but yeah, where well, else are we going? Well, anywhere yeah, in Florida or Georgia, like an ATL area, the chances are higher than that that is going to happen. What, with the white girl? Or, or if you're just getting lined up, period. You know what I mean? Like, it's not just strictly based on race. What do you like, mean? This is LA. But yeah, but out there, like, there, that's like a, that's a backdoor town. You know what I mean? They be so doing, what are we, like a front door town? Yeah, I mean, it, it can like happen. Like, you just know you getting robbed. We don't got to <laughs> yeah. slime you out. Like, what are you talking about? It, no, this I feel is you. Like, but, like, robbery. This is what motherfuckers re-up with. They don't even have fucking re-ups. They rob. For sure. You could, like, for show, no matter where you are, set somebody up with a female. But there's, like, places where that's just people are on you like that off top like yeah. Frisco for example like that's the one of the capitals of bitches lining you up you could be chilling with a bitch at a bar I've had homies chilling with like at the bar with a bitch and then like you look the other way all of a sudden you roofied type shit you know what I mean like yeah. like fools be getting got like that I feel there. like you couldn't roofie break yeah. I feel like he's he steals his immune system yeah. to the point where it's just not gonna really break through Yeah. damn I should have put two in there yeah like, it's yeah. gonna be fire He'd be like, take a sip, but oh, here's yeah. a more. Yeah, oh, yeah, you went light on it. Top me off. Yeah. <laughs>